Hi, I'm Steve, this is Dennis. Today we are gonna rank all the heat pumps that you can buy today, all the major ones. And um, it just, you know, heat pumps have been around since 1856, it's not new, it's just new to our industry or new to America. I mean, Electrolux had it in 1997. Funny, they don't have one now here in the States, but they were the first ones to do it. So let's start with uh, Mila. Okay, so Mila heat pump technology, as you said, has been out there, it's Mila, I think if you just said, what's the best washer heat pump technology combo between both units, it's Miele hands down. Their wash story's amazing with the honeycomb drum and, and life expectancy of, you know, it's not uncommon 15, 20 years on that set and really temperature accuracy. I mean, right down to you can wash wool and silk in some of the units. And then the heat pump's a really good unit. It has a great, great uh, filter system and really just balances against that washer well for, for a really pretty well done finished product um, and la true laundry care if I think of Mila. I'm staying silent because we actually agree on this one thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this is a company that's, that's, that's sold nothing but heat pumps in the United States since 2019. That's, uh, you know, five years. Everyone's talking about heat pump, heat pump, heat pump. We'll get into ultra fast and the other ones, but they're the ones that are just, they've committed to it and it's a 120 heat pump mm. and it dries as fast as the 220, 240. I mean, I get in trouble with that. Yeah. The 220 systems that you get from Bosch and the reason is they have mineral sensors in the wash. The thing spins, the washer spins at 1600 RPM, 1600, you know, the old ones, uh, an old top loader spins at what? 6,800? Correct. This is double, so everything's dry. So you don't have that, it, you don't have the, 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 the extra time that typically you have in a heat pump because it drives at a lower temperature. I mean, you know, talk about the honeycomb drum, you can wash silks in it. You know, they have that intense wash that goes up and down, so really saturate your clothes. Um, you know, it's got the uh, twin dose where bleach and detergent get dispensed at the right time, so you never have to guess. You get any number of pro uh, programs. You have the uh, uh, caplet dispenser. Yep. I mean, there's nothing the machine doesn't have. It's, it's really engineered incredibly well. And you don't sacrifice the time in the end. To me, I think, again, you know, it's, 20, it's almost $3,000 for a pair of compact laundry. But in terms of maintenance, the only maintenance that we have, the only service calls, we, you know what the service calls we go out on? Hmm. Which only goes to show you, we should probably put this in our customer services. There's a filter that you have to clean in the front. It comes right out. You go there, just clean that filter right out so that there's no newfangled anything. Um, and, and the product really works, which is not a given with some of the newer ones in the market. So for this, I rank this S, which this is our first ranking video. S is supposed to be like the new really good. Just so really know. good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it is really good. It's true dry cleaning in your home, if you want to think about that. Yeah, it's and you don't have to vent. 120, that means power, water, drain. Any room is now your laundry room. I mean, you get some kids that went off to college, right? Oh, yeah. Upper floors, right? Absolutely. Love them, but hey, it's the new laundry room, right? Yep. Okay. What's next, Bosch? Yeah, Bosch. I mean, it certainly, again, has had heat pump for a while. It's, it's, it's overdue for a refresh. Uh, actually, it's, you know, their 500 series today that's on the market is in the washer dryer combo again, like thinking about it like Mila is uh, probably better than their their current, you know, upper line 800 series. But they're about to come out with a new unit in 800, which I'm excited for. It really gets them more into that uh, Wi-Fi enabled, more digital interface, you know, a much uh, better drum, bigger drum, new aesthetic, new cycles. I think that then it may be a player. But for now, honestly, does a fine job. I wouldn't say that it does a bad job. But I just think everyone else has kind of had new releases recently, and Meal has just always been at the forefront of that compact heat pump washer dryer combo. They're and just up here. The great thing about Bosch is it's very reliable. It's it the is. most reliable machine. I mean, mm -hmm. Meal would be better if we would not go out just to clean people's filters, no. but um, very reliable, very easy company to do business with. Like, yes. I mean, you know, with parts and everything else. Um, and the traditionally one of the most reliable appliances is a Bosch washer and dryer. However, that said, I mean, it's time for a refresh. Time and they're, for a refresh. they're up against really, that's a tough one for them. They're one and two. I mean, they, they beat anyone else in that category. Yeah. So it's not a bad ranking, but it's also they're up against what I consider the best washing system 
Oh yeah, the, the meal is the, yeah, but it's it's interesting. I, I think I, I think Bosch got a little bit surprised that heat pump has become so popular because they only put it in their five put it in one of their the five hundred series. The eight hundred's yeah. got like every feature you can wash by stain type Correct. if you wanted to, but they didn't put a heat pump dryer on. It, but so. they're about to catch up. Maybe maybe it'll well, change. We'll see. In the when, when's that coming in? Uh, should be you know this has been on a delay plan for them, but it, it should be first half of this year. Maybe out. Okay, so uh, what'd you get, Bosch? Um, B. Okay, I, I give him a B, A for reliability, but um, B, when it comes out, maybe it'll finally challenge meal, I would think. But um, good machine, good, reliable, basic machine. What's next? Um, do you want to touch on, how about, how about the all in one wash tower, the heat pump wash tower unit? Heat pump? By LG. Like that machine. Um, I like the wash tower. I saw one, saw one of our neighbor. The thing looks like a work of art. It's just a beautiful machine. Controls in the middle, so you don't have to reach for the stack. I, I, I think it's a great machine, and I, I think we're going to get into all-in-ones. And the nice thing about this is it's not, you know, you don't have to worry about the combo. The washer's going to take some of that lint out, and then you've got the regular lint thing. And you, but you still have uh, the ventless. You got AIDD in there, but they don't have a dispenser, interestingly enough. On that no, they machine, don't. And know? so for people listening, understand there's two wash towers or wash tower systems out there. There's a vented wash tower system, like, looks the same. And then there's this uh, wash tower system that has, actually has a heat pump dryer. And that's what we're talking about right now. And one of the things I like about it particularly is because we know any of these all-in-ones or these compacts, you know, specifically Americans, they really like to jam pack this thing, you know, and in the in the wash tower heat pump by lg the washer is just shy of five cubic feet right around five cubic feet but the dryer is there i believe 7.3 cubic feet so you have that extra space in the dryer which is really good for air movement and that's really what helps dry clothes significantly is uh not just jam packed full and it's trying to sweat in there it's actually there's air moving in and out of the clothes helping to dry it a little more efficiently and it's and it's a good hedge the the when we get to the all-in-ones nice thing about it a wash tower, you get the LG washer, which is one of the most, well, it is the most reliable over the last five years, the most single reliable, single most reliable appliance you can buy at Yale. Um, so that's the same. And then and then you have the 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 uh, the heat pump dryer on top. The nice thing about splitting them, although combining them is, has its advantage too, is you can do more laundry that way. You can you can finish the washer, put it in the dryer, and then come up with another load. On the all-in-ones, you cannot do that. Right. And you have all their technology, the AIDD, all this, the, the cycles, options, features that you get with um, with a really top of line LG unit with, without a dispenser. We think dispenser is important because people add in too much detergent, that detergent gets in the machine and causes a service problem. Uh, with a dispenser, you know, it automatically releases the right amount of detergent at the right time. So. That's the only thing that's that's kind of a miss on this machine. Other than that, though, this is this is a, a great way to have a good ventless, reliable washer dryer with a heat pump in your house. Yes. Steve, what do you think about the fact that it is one unit? Now it can be separated for delivery purposes if we need to get up tight stairs, but but one control. Do you nervous about service? You know, we have issue with one and the other. It's all one unit, or do mm -hmm. you you know? Well, it, that hasn't it hasn't. It, it's still a very reliable product. It has been since its um, inception in 2020. And what you don't know is when we sell two piece units, oftentimes you have to like get rid of the both of them because you don't have the stacking kit that matches up. I mean, you could finagle something, but um, with the way the dryers kind of rotate, it might rotate off your washer. So I don't, I don't see that as a huge disadvantage. Typically when you get rid of the washer, you may have to get rid of the dryer because you can't stack it properly anyway. So yeah, we haven't seen service ratings. I just didn't know what your what your if you had. Any I, I think I think there. electronics. I mean, I always people always have a problem with the people that have problems with electronics. I always say, what about microwaves? Yeah. Last time a microwave like or microwave draws. Yeah, just, when was they, last time they don't a, break often? When was last time yeah. a microwave broke? And this is kind of the same thing. As long as the panel is is good from the outset, yeah, you're fine. Um, it's later when you have problems typically, and typically it's 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 unreal, you know it's the washers. Uh, those type of problems are related to what you get with washer issues typically. Typically, as I see that, you know, probably get comments of people saying, you know, my they had a bad control panel. Yeah.
<laughs> you'll have a certain percentage of that too, I suspect. All right, all in ones, what do you think? So, you know, we, we actually covered this on another one as another well. Video. And, uh, mm -hmm. I like the LG. I mean, listen, I'm going to stick with it only because it has such a proven track record over a long period of time of dominating the front load laundry space. So I haven't seen them really screw one up yet. Unlike the old Maytag Neptune, which we really loved initially. We, probably, we, finished, we, finished, we finished servicing those like I think last week. <laughs> which, you know, we, we, um, it, we like getting ahead of stuff. That's but. not always true because yeah. both companies have kind of a checkered history with all in ones, right? Neither one of them removed the lint. We didn't sell, you know, if someone wanted to buy a combo at Yale, they had to sign something saying that they knew that it was going to fail within five years. If they didn't maintain it. If they didn't you, maintain yeah. it and everything else. Because what happens is on, on, the, on the previous generation is it wouldn't remove lint, lint gets to the machine, and then it becomes an impossible future service call. So neither one of them, although LG has been wonderful for um, washing machines, Neither one of them have got a great history at doing this, but they both re-engineered them. LG's got that filter on the top. G's got the filter in the front um, to address that. Mm. Now, whether that, whether that continues, like over five years of continually doing washing and drying, whether a little bit of lint becomes a lot of lint, that remains to be seen. And, and the problem I have, I love the LG. I love their regular laundry. I think it's... Certainly one of the, if it isn't the best, it's certainly one of the best appliances we sell. However, I do think the G with a five-year warranty is compelling for me. Because if in case these don't work out, you at least get a five-year warranty on the motor seal system. Labor's different. You know, LG, uh, G is easy to break down. Yeah. G is easy to fix. You know, you can take that seal system apart very easily. You cannot do that in an LG, according to our service techs. But I will say, from a reliability standpoint, um, from a cycle standpoint, from a feature standpoint, they added a dispenser to it. There's nothing better than that machine, provided it works. Right? Yeah, I think they both have they both have GE and uh, comparing the GE Ultrafast to that LG all in one. Um, they both have one year full parts and labor warranty and ten year motor warranties. No labor on that, but ten year motors. Where the the big difference is in that compressor, like you said, the condenser. It's five years versus uh, versus one. And she's got a better one, service department. Yes. I mean, you have to check. I'm speaking to the viewer now. You have to check in your area to see, you know, who's better in your particular area because it might be an independent that does a better job with LG um, than G factory service. And we always recommend to check reviews on everything that we sell. So, yeah. what do you think on how are you going to rate both of them? You know, listen, I give both of them an A. Um, I think they're both A's. Uh, I think because I'm excited about what they're doing. I think they both will get it right if they haven't right out of the get. Time will tell. Definitely not an S for Mila against Mila uh, or in that realm yet because Mila just has a track record forever of being yeah. at the very top of its game. And yeah, it's a totally different yeah. unit. Wash and dry. Yeah. Anyway. yeah, different unit. but Like, like the spin speed, compared. these are 1300 RPM spins, so there's a little bit more water. You know. But comparing these two specifically, the LG to the Ultrafast, I'll give them both an A. I'll give them both an A. I'll give them both an S if they work. Yes. Agreed. And a C if they don't, because we'll have me on the hook for fixing all these things. So <laughs> that's not going to be easy. So that's it for heat pumps for now. Um, Samsung is going to be coming out with theirs. That's, this should be, uh, we should get a model to test yeah. here in the next few weeks, so, and that should be great. So if you like these style videos, click to subscribe, and thanks for watching.